in today's episode. How do you do in Tabapas? Welcome to Stories of My Life. So today uh, is going to be mostly... Oh, yes. Well, yesterday, the day before yesterday, I had my vaccination. And yesterday, I was sort of just... I wasn't tired. I was sleepy. You know, that nice sort of way when you're slightly hungover. You sort of lie on the couch watching the telly. Haven't got a telly, but watching the YouTubes and stuff on the t- on the computers. That's my yesterday. So today, perfect. The story's going to be mostly about me, <clears throat> as always. But it's going to be about me cooking, mostly. Because tomorrow is Midsummer's Eve. And I'm going to celebrate it with Magnus. We're going to have a picnic by the river at uh, Kung Snow Yu Gordon. So I'll be cooking some nibbly things, salads and stuff like that. I'm going to try. We have something in Sweden here called new potatoes. When are sort of those when the potatoes are really new and they're sort of the 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 thing that's around the potatoes, the skins. The potato skins are really sort of thin. That's something we eat in the summer. And especially on on uh, Midsummer Night's Feast. So I'm going to steam some and then I'm going to try to deep fry them like chips. Hopefully it'll work. Work. It works. Hopefully it'll work. Hopefully it'll work. I can't understand if it doesn't. Um, By the way, I don't usually remember my dreams, but maybe because I was so sleepy yesterday, I remember, (laughs) dreamt I was making, because today I'm going to be making a scones, no, a brownie. And I also watched some trailers for In the Heights, and I listened to some interviews from that. So some somewhere along the line, there was this mashup of me trying to bake brownie while watching and being part of In the Heights. It's like I'm I'm in the world of In the Heights trying to bake a brownie. I don't remember how it went, but it was sort of nightmarish. So here's my list of things that needs to be made today. Fast pizza. Oh yes, yes, yes. So this is going to be happening. That says fried new potatoes in Swedish. I also will be making a panzanella. I made it last week and it was fantastic. I'm going to grill some corn, pizza, roasted potatoes, salad. I don't know. This is the side in the pages. Let's see, 28. Oh, yes. Salad with peach and raspberries. Looking like that. Won't look like that when I'm through with it. So I think... I'll just start by making an, a sort of inventory of all the things I'm supposed to have. So like, for instance, this is for the salad. Although, come to think of it, I won't be making the salad until tomorrow, I think, because it will go soggy and stuff like that. But, stuff, yes, I might get up early and do a salad, so let's just put stuff in groups, in food groups, no, in dish dish groups. And now we are making peanut brownies with pretzel sticks, I guess you would call that. Or if you don't call it that, that's what I'm going to call it. So we're going to start by preheating the oven to 175 degrees Celsius. And Then you melt 175 grams of vegan butter. When the butter is melted, you add one deciliter of sugar and two and a half deciliter of brown sugar and one deciliter of uh, chickpea juice or the brine that chickpeas, when you open a can of chickpeas, but you know what I get. And then you will be adding half of the peanut butter. And the total amount of peanut butter is one and a half a deciliter, so that'll be 75, I don't know, half of a de- deciliter and half of a half of a deciliter. Then you just whisk this to combine. 
this smells so nice. And people, there are no calories in this, so you don't have to worry. Then you add five deciliter of flour and let's see how much, 150, no wait with that. Well, no, 150 grams of sort of chopped up or, you know, pieces of chocolate. You'll also be adding one, let's see here, one uh, half a teaspoon of bicarbonate bi bi of soda. So, oh God, I don't know. And one teaspoon of baking powder. Bicarbonate of soda? Bicarbonate? I don't know. So this will turn into quite a hefty sort of dense batter and you now pour it into a, a form where you sort of put paper. I just did this on my own, it doesn't say so in the recipe but it's so much easier to get it out if you do like this. And I also crumbled it before because that's make it easier to sort of fit. And then I'm just going to do like that and let Mother Nature, no, Mother Gravity, do her work. Like that. Sort of, instead of trying to smear it out because it's, it's quite impossible to smear. So, and then the rest of the peanut butter, you sort of, you're supposed to drizzle over it. So people, it's almost impossible to sort of smear peanut butter on top of a batter. But, batter on a butter. Now we're going to add something. I don't know the English word for these. Oh, that's not supposed to be there. Some sort of lettuce. These are sort of pretzel sticks. And we're going to sort of cover this thing with pretzel sticks. The recipe doesn't say how many. Just saltapina, which means salty sticks. That's the Swedish word for them. Um... Do 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 I don't know. I keep singing this comment to dire adieu. I don't know, it's not even a favourite song. Oh, I shouldn't do that. No, wait, okay, people. So into the oven it goes for 35 minutes. This is before. So people, 30 minutes late, 35 minutes. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, 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 this done has risen. Okay, people, now the brownie is cold, and I will make this again, because I tasted it, it tastes good, but I would not put these sticks on top, because it makes it impossible to cut. Wait, I'm going to show you. Let's pretend I'm going to cut this. Look, nothing, it's just, they don't stick, it's just stupid. So, maybe I would do it, but, um, but I don't even taste good. This, on the other hand. This. Good. <laughs> now, on to the next thing. What? Oh, God. Famous timing with Magnus, and Magnus wants to tell people this. This is a message from Magnus. Hello. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Something about peace and love. Well, I, 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 um, I want world peace. Okay, I'll give it to you. Peace. Peace, peace girl. On to the next. It's roasted potato salad. Well, roasted potato salad with uh, vegan feta cheese and watermelon. And I'm now steaming these <laughs> rather large new potatoes. And afterwards, I'm gonna smash them and roast them. That's it. People, while I'm waiting for the potatoes to cool down to be manageable, I am frying some corn on the cob. Two out of four. While these are cooling down, I will be make the butter that's gonna go on top of them. Of course, tomorrow they won't be hot. And I might just bring one, but I'm gonna smear them with butter anyway. So 100 gram of vegan butter, two tablespoon of capers, and I'm gonna finally chop them. 
This recipe also asks for tarragon, and I realise now that I'm all out of tarragon, so what to use instead? Hmm. So the internet told me rosemary and thyme, so I might try sage? No, thyme. People, one teaspoon of dried thyme, two tablespoons of chopped up capers, and the rind of one lemon. People, most of you know what this is. This is a cheese grater or a cheese cutter for hard cheeses. It was invented in Norway, but it's tremendously popular in Sweden. You just sort of do that and you get a cheese slicer. But there is also something that looks like this. It grates cheese. And this is the hack of the week, hack of the month, maybe. If you use it on lemon or lime, you get those perfect little zesty things that look so much nicer than when you try to grate them on a grater, you know? Yeah? Okay, people, here we go. So, just... Can you see? This is fantastic. Because they get really long and usually when I grate like lemon zest on a grater, you sort of, they get mashed up or stuck. Nothing gets stuck in this. Look, fantastic. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the bottom might be a little bit too hard. Now that the potatoes cooled off, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take a jar, sort of biggish jar, and then you're gonna mash them, but not till they get completely mashed, just to the sort of, they lose their shape, that you want them to stick together. And then you preset the oven to 225 degrees Celsius, and you put these crushed, terribly crushed and spurge potatoes into a bowl and then you coat them with one deciliter, no half a deciliter of olive oil. So here you go, they are going to get thoroughly coated because these are going to get grilled. And then you add salt and pepper to taste and I, I don't know how much anything really, maybe one deciliter, no. One teaspoon of salt, that would be enough. And some pepper. And then you sort of very carefully mix. And this is what I mean by carefully coating them. Some of them will break up, of course, but most of them will stick together. And now we're just waiting for the oven to get hot enough. So people, when the oven is hot enough, you put the potatoes on a pan. Oh God. And then in it goes for 40 minutes in no, 225 degrees. Oh, this needs a smash, right? Ah, yes, good. So people, the potatoes are done. Oh yes, they are. Oh, I love the smell. Oh God, look at that, good. Okay, while that potato cools off, we are gonna make this potato pizza. And I already got the, where is that? Oh, there it is. <laughs> God, I thought I was looking for a box. Pizza dough, ready. And I'm, we'll now make some vegan uh, cheese. No, I'm not. I bought some vegan cheese. 100 grams of vegan cheese. And wait, this is sort of like a Philadelphia style cheese. So 100 grams of that. And then you mix this with the rind. And I'm going to, you know, I'm going to use the rind and the juice from one lemon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. You put your store-bought pizza dough on a pan, and in this case, I'm just gonna reuse the one I had the potatoes on, because it's filled with flavors. It might look not clean, but it is 
clean. So I did that with one hand, you people. And then you pour the mixture, the Philadelphia style cheese and the orange zest and the orange juice over it and cover it. And then you thinly slice 300 grams of raw potatoes. In this case, I've got those new potatoes. So hopefully oh, they will work. And then you cover this with the thinly sliced potatoes. And then you brush this with about a tablespoon of olive oil. And after that, you're just going to put... They, the recipe said that you should use fresh rosemary. Haven't caught any fresh rosemary, so I'm going to use about a tablespoon of dried rosemary and just sprinkle it over. And about a teaspoon of salt as well. So people, here goes rosemary like mad and also salt now into the oven it goes for 225 degrees for how long 10 minutes oh that's not much well, pizza's done apparently oh god well maybe a little longer i'd say five more minutes Let's taste the potatoes. Mm. Mm. To me, the best thing, the best, let's see, the ve best vegetable there is, is potatoes. Are potatoes. The worst at English are me. So people, here it is. <laughs> Just want to sort of get it onto the plate smelling lovely the potatoes aren't really brown but I don't think they will turn brown you need more oil if that's the case because these are fresh potatoes and they got a high content of water so that done I'm now making a salad with a uh, red oh god red onions and peaches and there's a dressing with uh, oh god Put myself on the spot at sumac and raspberries and oil and vinegar all this food will put be put together into salads and stuff tomorrow right now i'm just going to eat a piece of this lovely pizza or maybe two thank you so much for following me on my cu culin culinary 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 for my culinary trip down memory lane, no, just lying. I've never cooked any of this before. Anyway, here goes. Mmm. I think this is what they call a pizza blanco. Mmm. Good. Doesn't taste like pizza though. It tastes like bread with potatoes on it. In a good way. Anyway, for those of you who thought, who think this is not, if you were expected to sort of traditional Swedish midsummer food, none of this was, except maybe the potatoes. Well, we use the potatoes. So, sorry, not sorry about it. Someone was already there, called for the doctor, oh, the ambulance, and then this guy stopped and... Uh, so, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for some excitement. So, people, I'm about to eat lunch. This is the sign. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe and tell all your friends and family and lovers how fantastic I am and tell them to watch me as well.